also have to be able to do something that I think is very important, and that is they have to be willing to make hard decisions. Now, the differentiator between a hard decision and a tough decision is this. First of all, you make tough decisions all the time because you're dealing with layers of complexity and ambiguity, uncertainty, partial information, competing priorities. So you have to make the best call based upon what you have, but you also have to have very quick feedback loops that allow you to make an assessment as to whether or not it's working properly. Whereas the hard decision, well, there's no ambiguity there. There's no uncertainty. And by the way, I think this is one of the great differentiators for effective leaders, is they know they must do the right thing, but they also know the consequences to them personally might not be acceptable. And so they're confronted with a situation where perhaps there's an ethical circumstance that arrives, and they have to make the call. Perhaps the design's flawed, and professionally they've made a commitment to ensure that there's never any harm as a result of bad design. And then they have to make the decision as they're going to inform uh, their uh, their bosses about this type of thing, what might be the consequences, and yet they can't walk away from it. And that's the hard decision. And then finally, the person has to be committed to doing these kinds of things. They have to be willing, in some cases, to take uh, significant risk to ensure that the right thing is played out. Now, none of those things are apart from the person who is learning how to lead. But systematically, all of those things, if addressed, will cause a person to be very, very effective in their ability to influence.